let's review post-operative instructions together. A pressure dressing was placed by the surgeon. This initial dressing may stay in place for a few days or until the surgeon instructs you to remove the dressing. You may experience swelling, bruising, and even slight drainage at your surgical site. We recommend that you ice the area 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off for the first 24 to 48 hours. You can use a bag of frozen peas or a frozen gel pack. We recommend that you keep the wound as elevated as possible to prevent additional swelling or discomfort. Please avoid swimming in a pool or the ocean, as the bacteria levels can cause infection in your surgical wound. We will provide a written copy of instructions for you to take home. Follow your surgeon's instructions for post-op care and suture removal. Post-operative bleeding can be common. If this should occur, apply firm, direct pressure to the site for no less than 15 minutes without easing up. If bleeding continues after 15 minutes, please call the office to speak to one of our providers. Extra strength Tylenol or Tylenol PM may be used for pain. Please refrain from using ibuprofen, aspirin, or any of the following products for the first 24 hours. Aleve, Advil, Motrin, or Excedrin. These products can cause the wound to bleed. Once you're permitted to remove the dressing, Wash with soap and water, pat dry, apply Vaseline, and a dry dressing. While healing, avoid strenuous lifting, stretching, straining, or bending over during the first week post-surgery. If you feel pulling or tension at the surgical site, Stop what you are doing. Signs of infection include pus-like drainage, pain, warmth, severe redness at the site, or fever. Cigarette smoking constricts blood vessels, and it is recommended that you do not smoke while healing from surgery. We also suggest avoiding alcohol during the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery, as it can increase the risk of bleeding. Thank you for entrusting us with your care.